we've actually got a somewhat decent piebald blacktail buck out here. And let's go ahead and get him with a bow before he spooks. Nice little piebald blacktail. So it is time for another hunt out here in the Hunter Call of the Wild. And today I thought we would do something a little bit different. I thought we'd do an all bows hunt. Uh, so I brought the crossbow and the only thing I'm going to have in this crossbow the entire time is the 600 grain bolt. So I'll only be able to shoot uh, moose and elk with it uh, for integrity. I also brought the Hawk Edge CB70, that is with the 420 grain arrows, so that'll cover everything else down to the rabbits, and then I have the Bear Claw with the 300 grain arrows, that'll be for the rabbits. So I thought it'd be a little bit interesting to make it so I have to use uh, a certain weapon for a certain animal, and I just saw something trotting down there. Uh, I think it was a doe that we can check our consec on. Yeah, there's a blacktail doe down there, so let's go down there and see where we're at. Turns out there was actually a buck with him, and he's not a bad one, he's probably right on the edge. Uh, of being a gold or not, but like I said, I wanted to check my consex, so what I might do uh, is try to drop this guy and then take one of the others, uh, one of the does, I might try to call them back, so what are we looking at there? Uh, 29, but we're completely hidden, he'll come a little bit closer, uh, and actually he's just trotting right in now, so we're zeroed for 20, and that's probably right about where he stopped, and he is down, so I think, if I'm not mistaken, I can see, yeah, there's a white tail buck down there, so let's just call him up, He's not very big, so we can check our consec on him. We could also check our consec on this small blacktail buck as well. Uh, since he's stopping right there, we might as well just do that. The whitetail buck is not much bigger, if at all, actually. So if he'll actually just stop again, there we go. And he is down, and the whitetail is off. Can we get him too? Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, if we need extra consec. Jeez, hi. Oh, you're pretty decent. Did I get him? Oh my god, what is happening? I'm just dropping deer with a bow. This isn't going to happen. Oh, if you wouldn't have stopped, I might have had it. All right, well, I'm done shooting. I'm, I'm not going to break the streak of amazingness I have. And I claimed the wrong one, but we got a gold out of him anyway. So, Kinsek is good. So we're not going to really care too much about this guy. I got him, like, through the spine and intestine uh, with that shot. And then our other two, I'll just grab the small one, I guess, first. Or this is the bigger one. Never mind. Another gold, we got a double lung shot on him, 139 trophy rating, gives us an 833 score, and then this guy, 76 trophy rating, 681 silver. So, that was about as good a start as I could have asked for. Got a lot of use out of the Hawk Edge CB70 uh, shooting those deer, but uh, yeah, where was I going? I was going to show that on the map, and now it's so pink and I forget where I was even headed. Oh yeah, I was going to go up to this little lake, and usually that's a pretty decent spot for deer and rabbits, so we might get some use out of the Bear Claw. So we're on to our first rabbits. I thought we got a bunch of greys here, but I've only had level ones uh, in this group. So if we can get a shot at one of them around 20 meters, uh, we'll definitely go for that. I'd like to get it to stop, though, and I don't really know if we're... Oh, that's the wrong bow. Of course, it stops for a second when I've got the wrong bow out. Might have to shoot that one moving. It's actually coming back. Oh. And there we go. I didn't hear the other ones run off. Are they still here? I don't see any. But I definitely heard zero sound of them leaving, so I'm not sure if they spooked before I shot or what happened, but regardless, a 2.9 trophy rating female gives us a 601 silver. First one with the bow for the hunt, though. So no rabbits at the lake I was hoping they'd be at. I've come to another one. We got a female hopping around here. And she is down with the bow as well. Uh, I thought I saw something over there, but I think that is just some brush. And it is, so let's grab this one and see if there's anything else around this lake, because one rabbit by itself is somewhat uncommon. A little bit bigger for this one, though, 3.3 trophy rating and a 641 silver. So I've taken a bit of a break. I've come back, and we're now here at South Lake, and we got what I think is just below a gold elk here, but we haven't gotten to use the crossbow yet, uh, so I want to try that on this guy. And we've actually got some rabbits hopping around. Let's just make sure that's not a level 3. Uh, it is a level 1. So if this guy will stop somewhere there around the 30 meter mark, uh, we'll probably go for the shot on him, so we'll just be ready uh, if he'll do that. Oh, that would be ideal if he would stop like that. Maybe I can just hit him as he walks. There we go. All right. Hopefully Consec is good. Like I said, I did take a bit of a break, so if it drops off, uh, that'll be unfortunate if this guy is a gold. And we have another elk up there, Warning Calling. Uh, but since he is downwind of Warning Calling, I would say he is rather small. 234 for this guy, our consec unfortunately did drop off, uh, but he wasn't going to be a gold anyway, so we'll try to get our consec back, and then we will continue with our hunt. And we've actually got a somewhat decent whitetail buck here, I don't think he's quite gold potential uh, once again, so that'll be a good one to regain our consec, and he's just trotting right in. 
So we can just get him to stop. That will work. How was that not a... Oh, it was. Okay. I was going to say, that felt pretty good. And we've got these elk sitting over here. We can just take another one of them uh, with the crossbow. And then I think we will be set. This will put us to 40. And then if we drop one of the elk, uh, we'll be at 80%. Then we can move on to some of the other spots uh, that I want to hunt during the video. So 126 for this guy. He would have been very, very close to a gold... Uh, but just below anyway, so another good one uh, to actually get our consec on. And then if we can get one of these elk or does, then we will be set. This little spot here has actually got a lot of animals. There's a level 4 blacktail somewhere in... Hello, please don't run me over. Um, I was... Oh, there he is. Alright. Uh, 21 meters, I think he might know we're here. Yeah, he's definitely at least attentive. Let's just hit him. And we are going to have to drop one of the elk first because I know he will be a gold, so let's bring them in. Alright, so that guy is actually stopping at 30 meters. That's somewhat useful. Let's zero for that and get him before he moves. Alrighty. Just like that, we are set on our consec once again. We should be able to get a gold out of our level 4 black tail that we just dropped, so let's be sure of that. Wow, that penetration got through all the neck, the spine, and the lung. That puts us at 80, so this guy will be at 100%. And I do believe a somewhat decent gold, 140 trophy rating gives us an 833 gold. Not too bad with the 420 green arrows, right lung, liver, and stomach. Uh, and yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen Jules' video, he just made it. Uh, yesterday it'll be by the time this video goes up. Uh, he did a video on moose hotspots, so if you haven't seen that, uh, go check it out, because they are some real hotspots. He talked about one, uh, which is right here, I believe. So we're going to walk over there and see if it's a hot spot on my map. Looks like this spot panned out. We got a level 4 here as well as a level 3 right back there and a couple more females. There could even be more uh, hiding, but we'll do a little bit of calling and try to bring them in for the crossbow. But I'm actually kind of glad... Oh, I forgot I'm standing up and I'm completely hidden here. I'm actually kind of glad uh, that I went with the all bows hunt. I didn't realize how long it's been since I've really done much hunting with bows ever since... Uh, just chasing diamonds so much started happening. I'm doing way more gun hunting because I'm just trying to kill uh, any animal that's in my way that's not a diamond, pretty much. Uh, so it's fun to get out here with all bows again and not even have that option to go for a long shot. And can you please come in, Mr. Moose? Every other moose is coming in. I'll give him a few more calls. Just do a little bit of spam calling. By the way, if you get this where an animal doesn't come in, usually some spam calling will work. Uh, and as you can see, he is turning our way now. So we'll let him come in a little closer and then go for a shot. And in the meantime, I'm not seeing any other uh, moose here. It looks like there was just a few. All right, finally closing in on 30. So whenever he stops, we'll go for the shot on him. We've got some warning calls. Uh, and that should be right around 30. Let's go for a hard shot, I think. Why am I moving? Let's not do that. And there we go. Hello. Moose running through my scope, but he is down. That should be another gold for our hunt here. Let's just grab him and see what we've got. 167 trophy rating straight through the heart and just barely clipped the bottom of it. 842 on the total score. Add another gold to the tally. We might actually have another gold on the way, and it's a level 6 black bear if I can get to spot it again here. Uh, and he is on the trot, so let's just stop him by getting his attention. There we go and shoot him before he starts running. I forgot you need to go for a spine shot on the black bear when you use the compound bow. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. I'm going to screenshot that. Oh, I guess it's going to be better if I stand up. All right, never had that happen before. He just wedged himself in the tree. So double lung, still got 100% quick kill. Uh, just a little bit too small for a gold. I would say like 19.3 or 4 then would be a gold, but regardless, a decent level 6 black bear. This is probably the biggest level 3 moose I've ever seen. He's really solid, and I know we'll be a gold if we can drop him. Uh, and I'm not sure I want to bother calling. I think we'll just sneak over here a little bit further. Uh, so the angle's better, and then we'll just go for like a neck shot. That's the wrong weapon. Uh, go for a neck shot with a crossbow when we get that lined up at 30 meters. Once he has his head down, uh, we can try to go through the neck, and if we miss that, get the spine. And of course, he happened to notice that we were here, so... We'll just do that. And he is down, so that should be another gold. I don't even know where we are right now, actually. Are we up in... Yeah, we're almost halfway up uh, towards the Willapeg area. So, 158 for this guy. That might actually be the biggest level 3 I've seen. Gives us an 822 total score. I'm not really sure at what point this became a moose hunt, but we got another moose here. He's a level 3, and I think he's right on the edge. Uh, somewhere around that 140 mark. You need 147 for a gold, so this guy will be close, I think. Uh, and we are already 0 at 430, so hopefully he's just going to stop or at least slow down for us. That'll work. 
and a little bit too low, unfortunately. That'll be probably double lung. He's already dropping uh, rather quickly. I've noticed if you get a double lung, you actually can get a diamond on what would be like a larger uh, moose. So let's say you get something like in the 230s. You could actually still get a diamond with the lower quick kill uh, from a double lung. I've actually seen it done on, I think it was a 237 or 238 moose. Uh, ended up being somewhere in the 950s. So if you have a giant moose and you're too afraid to take a spine shot with the crossbow, that is an option. I think you'd probably want like maybe 615 minimum uh, for the weight just to be sure with that but yeah still 88% quick kill and he was just a little bit too small uh, to be a gold anyway he's only 142 so worth having the double lung it doesn't matter too much we've actually got a somewhat decent piebald blacktail buck out here that's actually really cool I don't think he's quite big enough to be a gold I was sneaking up on this level 4 moose and then I just looked over and saw some white uh, he is in the process of traveling I'd actually like to get this moose though uh, so I might just try to do that. I'm going to go ahead and spot this blacktail, and if I'm not uh, messing anything up, I will have his tracks. So as long as I don't spot this moose, uh, I just need to drop him and then go track that blacktail down, which shouldn't be too hard. Actually, he might be... I'd love it if they got a zone over there. That would make life so much easier, because obviously I only have uh, a bow. I can't drop him there anyway. I could just give him a call. That should slow him down at least. Uh, let's just give a few calls, and while we're at it, we'll give a moose call as well. Uh, the one thing that works in our favor, often uh, they won't come across water like this, uh, so he shouldn't be getting too close. Man, if he spawned as that one, that one might be a gold, but he's definitely too small. He doesn't have uh, the rack size to be a gold, but I'm not going to complain. A rare is a rare, and I do want to take this moose as soon as possible if this uh, pie ball is going to head our way, but we got some time. He's still uh, pretty far out there. And where did our level 4 go? Somewhere back there in the brush, I guess. There he is, 50 meters away. I might just go for a 50 meter shot. I actually don't care if we don't drop him, uh, to be quite honest, since we have that piebald over there. And yeah, just a little bit low. I think that's going to be doubling again. I can't spot him uh, just in case that piebald spooked, and I think I might have actually seen him running. I did, I think, see something white over there. Or is that, yeah, that's him there. He is alerted, uh, but we are good. He's not spooked, and we do have hunting pressure here, so that must have been a double lung shot. So, let's head over here. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's not. Let's fast travel back to the lodge and go over there. That way the wind's going to be in our favor, and we can call him in close for a bow shot. All right, there he is right there. I've brought my normal binoculars to try to get a somewhat uh, decent just screen grab from the video of him. Since the sun's not over here, I'm not too worried about uh, taking an actual in-game screenshot, just because it's going to be difficult, and I'd rather just get him down and continue with our hunt. When it's something that uh, I'm just out having fun and then I get a rare, I obviously want to get a up-close screenshot, but I don't want to be spooking this guy all over the map. Uh, especially since he's somewhat decent. Like I said, he's not going to be a goal. He's actually very similar uh, to the one that I shot before down at South Lake, so that's the other reason I don't mind it. I have a screenshot of a level 3 piebald blacktail, pretty much the exact same size. So we'll just get him in here, uh, get him with a bow, try to get a decent just screen grab with these binoculars and then we'll go track our moose which I think might just barely give us a gold uh, anyway regardless of the not so great shot. One thing I will do uh, is actually turn off the tracks here. That way I will uh, at least get to see the um, blacktail without any obstructions if we can get a decent screen grab. Like if he can come where this guy is and just stand there that would be amazing. That doesn't look too bad down there by the lake. I'd like him to be just a little bit closer. Uh, but that's definitely not bad. At least we got something uh, with the binoculars. So, just try to get that in focus for a second. And let's go ahead and get him with a bow before he spooks. Nice little piebald blacktail. And he is down. And is that buck going to stay there? He is. How far away is that? Uh, darn it. I should have shot. Um, I was guessing that was 40 meters. I was going to go for it. But that's okay. We will get a screenshot of this guy, though, uh, laying here. Actually, just take a few quickly and pick him up. 102 trophy rating, 745 total score, piebald blacktail buck. Not a bad trophy to add to our hunt here. So let's go grab our moose as well. Uh, and then we're going to run up here a little further in Willapeg and then probably call it a hunt. We've actually been out here uh, for quite a while now. We have a good number of animals. And here is our bull moose. He did not make it very far, so I do think we'll get a goal out of him. He's not a huge four, maybe like 170s or low 180s. 175 but with that 87% quick kill we still get an 835 gold that was actually 56 meters away 
Still got him with the double lung. That is definitely not too bad. So yeah, we'll run up Willapeg a little bit. Uh, actually, Chopika, technically, and see if we can get anything else decent. We've actually got two really nice level fours here. We got this one right here at 30 meters, then another one, uh, which is actually bigger, I believe, at 60 meters. But I think we're going to get the both and then probably wrap it up uh, with that. So let's go ahead and try to get this guy. Of course, he's going to start trotting when I decide to try to get him. I'm zeroed for 10. I'm going to aim a little high in the spine. And still got a little bit too low. I'm doubling the moose everywhere. Uh, but that is going to send the other one running, and he should be crashing any second there. Uh, and then we'll go get on that one and follow him and hopefully make a spine shot on him. And is that actually not a lung hit? No, I think it is medium bleed rate. Yeah, he's down right there for a second there. I was concerned like we got a flesh wound, but we are good. Uh, we'll still get a gold out of that guy. Luckily, all the ones that I'm making uh, double lung shots on are either too small to be a gold or big enough that we get a gold anyway. Another 175. I think that's what the last one was as well. Double lung shot once again gives us the 839 gold and we will go and see if we can find another one. So the moose that I was tracking ended up kind of just leaving. I couldn't get his tracks but he was actually smaller at least in terms of weight uh, and according to the weight of this one in front of us he should actually be bigger. Uh, he's like six kilograms heavier. I can't really see. I'm gonna stand up quick and go for it and dropped him. So I think that's going to be a good way to end. Uh, I was really hoping we could manage to get a decent shot on one of these because I keep double lunging them uh, by accident. What do we actually get for this one? It was a spine shot 179 for this one uh, and with the full quick kill we got a 866 gold. So that was actually a really good hunt. I don't know what our total number of golds were uh, but it was pretty decent and then of course the piebald blacktail buck as well. So yeah that was a lot of fun getting out uh, with the different bows as well. I wanted to bring the recurve, uh, but unfortunately I couldn't fit it, so maybe we'll do one uh, again with all the bows and replace the crossbow or something uh, with the recurve for next time. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.